With the run up to harvest now not too far away, now's the ideal time to get into the shed and examine your combine tyres for damage. Check out the sidewalls looking for bulges, cuts, tears to the rubber and the tread too. Check out that area. Don't forget the inside as well. Remember, identifying problems that have occurred in the past and rectifying those can mean you have better reliability during the harvest. Look at the way the combine has been sat for the last 10 months. Has the tyre developed a flat spot? If so, roll it out a few days before harvest into the sunshine, let the sun warm up the casing and hopefully that will remove that flat spot and mean that you get a smoother running tyre during the harvest. This tyre fitted to this machine is a Michelin Ultraflex Cerex bib tyre. Consider various options when you're buying new combine harvesters or specking new combine harvesters because there are options now from the likes of this Cerex bib range that mean you can specify the combine on a narrower tyre, meaning you, your combine overall width is narrower, meaning easier transportation around the farm, through gateways, across narrow bridges, maybe even not needing an escort vehicle for the combine. And these Ultraflex tyres, they put down a terrifically long footprint. So what you lose in width, you actually gain in length. So we've looked at the front tyre and don't forget the pressures. Get yourself a decent gauge, check your tyre pressures, consider the load that the tyre is going to have to deal with, whether you're going to be working on sidling ground or slopes, consider that too because that needs an extra uh, pressure recommendation. Don't forget your back tyres because with your back tyres we now see so many combines with rubber tracks on the front and a conventional technology high pressure tyre here on the rear and it's that tyre that does the damage to the soil structure, causing compaction. So pay attention to that if you're specking a new combine. See if you can spec it with the Ultrafex technology tyres that run at a lower pressure and reduce ground compaction. Check those rear tyres out too for damage. Make sure they've not been affected by that. Well that's it. I hope you found this short video useful and wish you a successful harvest.